Hey guys, and welcome back to a Sony Vegas tutorial. Today I'm gonna show you how to use the snapshot feature in Sony Vegas the right way. Because I've seen a lot of people out there that do it the wrong way, okay? Now there's probably a lot of you guys that already know how to do this the right way, but just in case there's someone out there that did not know how to do it the right way, I'm gonna show it in this video, okay? So let's say, let me start by explaining how you do the snapshot, okay? You, there's two ways to do it. You can save the snapshot to a file by just clicking this and then save it somewhere. It will all automatically get um, loaded in here to your uh, project media. And um, you can also click on this one, copy snapshot to clipboard. That means that when you click on this, you have to paste it into so, uh, to uh, Photoshop or even Windows Paint, right? That will work as well. And then you have to save the file and then physically drag it in here and use it. But yeah, you can use the, the, the save uh, snapshot to file feature just fine. So uh, let, let me explain you how not to do it first, okay? Uh, what I will try to do here is try to illustrate a, 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 like a point in a video where this could come handy, this feature could come handy, okay? Maybe this, this, by the way, this is Blades of Time. The game is Blades of Time. It's from my Let's Play. Let's say this was a World of Warcraft montage video or something. You can actually use this as, yeah, to, as an effect or something. But uh, I'm just going to move this uh, aside a little bit. We'll move it back later on. And um, see, now I just click there and everything's black. You can hold down Control, Alt, and Shift and use your mouse wheel to scroll a frame at a time. Look at this. Over here it says it's at the 13th frame. Now I'm at the 12th. That means that's the last frame of this clip, right? So let's say I wanted to take a screenshot of that. I'm gonna show you how to do it the wrong way first and then we're gonna do it the right way after. This is what, what normal normally happens when people use this feature, right? Because everyone edits their videos in preview half or preview something or good half or something like that, right? Now, there's a problem with this, but let me show you what happens when you do it the wrong way. So I'm going to save a snapshot. Image one. Awesome. Save that. Okay. We're going to drag that in. Right. Oh, shit. I'm not going to do that yet. I'm going to just do that first. Otherwise, it's going to move all my other clips behind it like that. Okay. So now we're in here and let me show you what happens when I go over to this image right here. That is the still shot. Oh my God, everything looks weird and somewhat pixelated. Now here's why it looks weird. First of all, it looks weird in the coloring because over here in the actual track, I have a uh, color correction on. So that was the first mistake. I should have disabled that. The second mistake is since we're, uh, we're editing in preview half, this is the preview resolution, 960 times 540. Right. Let me pull in my, um, here you see the picture. This is the snapshot I just took 960 times 540. Now that kind of fucking sucks. You can't use that because that's going to be really, really pixelated once you render that out. So if you've been like punching yourself really hard in the face because you couldn't figure out why your shit was pixelated when you were trying to use the snapshot feature, this is why. Okay, we just established how not to do it. And this is how you should do it. Go up here, click the preview, drop down and go to best full. See, it just changed the preview down here to 1920 times 1080. Okay, so uh, let's just remove this again and let's do it the right way. So now we've changed uh, to best full. We're gonna go into the uh, track FX. We're going to remove the checkbox in color correction. And uh, we are at the right frame, right? So uh, there we go. And now we can save the snapshot. Image two, that's fine. Just save that. Just to show you exactly what we did. And uh, the file is saved the right way. 1920 times 1080. Don't mind all this other stuff that's here. It's because I'm from Denmark and my operating system is in Danish. But you can see the, the, the dimensions or the resolution is 1920 times 1080. Now when we move this one in the image 
image two in here without the effects on still, because if I had effects on and I take the snapshot, it will copy the effects and then duplicate the effects again from the track. So it will double the effects, which is bad. So you don't want to have anything on it once you do these snapshots. And uh, now we go from uh, from this frame right here and over to the, to the picture, see? No change, no change whatsoever. And this is how you're supposed to do it. This is exactly how you're supposed to do it. Okay, so uh, now we can go in and put on the uh, color correction again, and just make to make sure that everything works the way it should. See, it looks the same. Everything looks the same now, which is awesome. Now I'm gonna show you in a scenario where you th this feature could come handy. So I'm gonna take this and move it back there. And then we're gonna, we're actually gonna stretch this. So we're gonna slow it down. I have another tutorial on how to speed up and slow down videos. Um, so I'm just gonna do that right now. I'm just gonna slow it down as much as I can like that. So just move that back here and then go up and click on this one. The reason I click on this one is because there's clips behind it here. So when I drag this one back, see it moves everything that was behind it as well. Okay, so let me let me just play that back. And if I played it back by uh, while being in best full, it will probably lag a little bit. So I'm not gonna do that. So I'm gonna go here, go to preview half again, and then I'm gonna play it. There's no audio and I've disabled that just so it won't be annoying. So let's play that back. This could be really, really good in a montage PVP video or something like that. And then slowing it down and then bam, you want to explain something about this wheel or someone getting hit really hard and then the video resumes. Easy mode, everything looks great and you're not losing quality on that snapshot because you said to just, just to sum it all up really, just make sure that you do not have any, any effects on your track. Let me zoom in here so I'm sure that I get it, the right frame. So you wanna make sure that you have no effects on the track. So do you click that? Go up here, set the uh, preview to best full. Then take the snapshot and save it as a file, and drag it in again, like I did right here. And actually just uh, remove this one and delete that. Just Drag it in after you've saved a snapshot, right? And then go back, enable the uh, effects again, set this one that back to preview half, and then you're good to go. Then it should look awesome in your videos. Like I said in the beginning, there's probably a ton of you guys that already knew how to do this the right way, but I've seen a lot of people that did not know how to do this the right way and they ended up with having very pixelated still shots in their videos and well i'm all about quality guys you know that so i just wanted to help people out and not get pixelated shit in their videos <laughs> but if you found this video helpful in in, in, in uh, i can't speak right now sorry about that but if you found it helpful in any way or form please thumbs up the video and leave me a comment share the video with your friends and yeah take care have fun and see you all in the next one Bye.